Hey guys, it's the Pontiff, Archibald Chesterfield III, and today, guys, we're asking the question, does your Rolex attract women? And uh, I thought this would be a great video to make there. Quick, 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 whist, whist watch. Check, I'm wearing a Reverso Grand Date. Reverso Grand Date. And today, guys, let me talk to you about this very interesting topic. Does your Rolex attract women? And I gotta be completely frank and honest with you, man. Uh, you've gotta understand, it's like having a friend of yours who's done exceptionally well, and after a while, you get fucking sick of his bragging. So, I gotta be honest with you, you wanna be low key, but, Today's story is not about that, it's about can a Rolex attract a woman to you? And uh, I, I actually do have a recent history of this. Let me set the scene. I had uh, had a couple days in Bangers. This was mid-2019. Uh, I'd gone there for some business and to see some wenches and to, uh, to see if I could find Nana Kim. And then I was coming back into the airport and I got my passport checked just as I was going through immigration. And this really beautiful woman started flirting with me. And I got to be completely frank and honest with you. Um, she was gorgeous. Uh, she spoke nice, good English. And we... Um, we actually, um, we kind of hit it off. Now, I must admit, I wasn't wearing the best clothes. I was traveling to Singers uh, for another rendezvous. And I was, uh, you know, I had shorts, a long sleeve shirt, but a little bit frayed collar. Still got a couple years of, of use left in it. But I had my bluesy. I had a two-tone bluesy submariner, steel and gold bluesy. And that's really what attracted her to me. Uh, and I, I must be completely honest with you. I also have had the um, the Daytona, the two-tone Maserati blue Daytona. That has attracted its fair share of attention. Um, i got to be honest with you. My, one of my previous uh, clients from Blue Velvet, uh, she saw me when I had the solid gold bluesy, solid gold submariner blue dial, and I was happened to have my friends watch with me, because I was getting a link for him, uh, that was a two-tone, and I said, which one do you prefer, so I had solid gold bluesy, and I had a two-tone bluesy, and she actually said to me, she felt the two-tone looked better, she felt it looked better, the contrast, so don't always assume the solid gold will be the winner uh, and I was quite surprised I thought, oh wow and I gotta tell you I think the two-tone uh, bluesy is probably the one of the the most beautiful watches of all time um, I would say the problem with the Daytona is see the Submariner is so famous it's ingrained in all of us that it's the Submariner then you got the two-tone Submariner the problem is these lady folks, <clears throat> they're not really big watch people and they don't understand the Daytona. So to be completely frank and honest with you, I think you're going to get a lot more traction, um, a lot more traction out of the, um, you're going to get a lot more traction out of the, um, I can tell you this here now, you're going to get a lot more traction out of the Submariner than you would the Daytona. Uh, so I got to be honest with you. I, I honestly uh, think if you want to impress the ladies, two-tone Submariner Rolex is the way to go, without a doubt. Uh, I had quite a number of ladies who, who asked me out, who wanted to be entertained by me. Uh, and... Um, you know, it, it, it's, 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 it's the initial contact which is so important. 
Now, you might say to me, well, Arch, if that's the case, okay, let's say we believe your story, which I, you know, they find hard to believe, but they said, well, why did you sell them all off and get paddock? Surely the meaning of life is pussy, pussy, pussy. And they're right. Yes, it is true. It's true. But let me explain this to you. That is true. The bitches will come to you when you've got a two-tone bluesy. However, let me say this to you. The lady folks will take their underpants off, okay, when you wear paddock. Paddock is life-changing. See, the whole thing about Patek Philippe is, it's not about something that is so recognizable or famous or it's in your face, fuck you. It's not, it's not, it's not like that. This is not a Dan Locke video. What happens is with Patek itself there, Patek is a very, very special brand. And by having um, Patek Philippe, you yourself have a certain aura. You give off certain pheromones. Now, those pheromones to a woman who's in her mating cycle, they are irresistible. Uh, the lady who, who gave me the panties, uh, what watch was I wearing? Very good question. I can show you exactly. I was wearing a 5196. That's correct. 5196. Uh, she actually said the chocolate strap is beautiful. I didn't have it on the chocolate strap. I actually had it on a black strap and I showed her a picture lately and she, she really liked it. Uh, panties, panties, look at that, panties, panties. So I gotta be completely frank with you. Um, I, I seriously, when you own paddock, paddock, it just brings in the pussies, okay? There is no other watch, no other watch. Lange is too Germanic, okay? Uh, these, these, these boutique brands, forget it, forget it, man, forget it, forget it. Uh, you, you gotta get, it's, it's paddock, it's paddock. You want the swagger, you want the confidence, you gotta get paddock. Uh, seriously, seriously, I've gotta tell you the, 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 the all to God truth. If you want pussy, if you want unlimited, beautiful pussy, it's Patek Philippe. There is no other brand to choose. And uh, I've, I've got to be, be completely honest with you. I've been there a few times. Um, this, this, this is how it goes. It's Patek and pussy. Um, you have a Patek Philippe. It's the pheromones that bring in the bitches. Uh, I was wearing my Patek yesterday. And now I sound like very white. Hey, baby. Take your bra and undies off. Let's go and have a session. Just make sure you clean downstairs because I'll give you service you've never seen. See, that's Patek Cool. That's what you want. Patek Philippe Cool, man. Patek. It's Patek and Pussy. This is the meaning of life. This is what it's all about. This is what it comes down to. It's Patek Philippe and Pussy. So to answer your question there, yes, the Rolex two-tone will bring in the bitches. But if you want really, 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 really um, higher class beings, it, it's, it's, it's only Patek. It's only Patek Philippe. And uh, I tell you the other trip, I'll give you another trick too. I often uh, would have been on the lover's quest. I've worn my sports watch. When I've been doing a bit of sports riding, I've got my reverso and um, there's nothing like it. This, my reverso has got an engraving from my ex-wife on there. The greatest lover of all time, Archibald. Uh, it's on the back. Um, the other bitches find that very arousing and erotic because they can't believe another bitch has given you an expensive trinket. So it makes them want you even more. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's a bit of advice there. This is serious advice. You might need to do a very high-end Dan Lok course. Um, gold label closer course to be able to, to get to this level here. I'm telling you for free. But uh, it's paddock. Get a paddock. Get a paddock. Get the fucking paddock. Get the paddock. And it'll all be fine. It's paddock. 
it's Patek Philippe. This is what you need to do. Uh, once you hit the higher level, it's Patek. And the bitches will come to you in droves. Believe you me, they will come to you. So guys, there we go. That's the Archie Luxury topic for today. Can your Rolex bring you bitches? Yes, it can. It can bring you, attract women to you. But I think on a higher being, it's, it's Patek. Okay, guys, wrap this up. I'm Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III. And uh, until next time, see you later, fuckers. David SW, David SW, David SW, who does Archie Luxury recommend is the greatest grey market dealer in America? There's only one choice, David SW. That's right guys, I've got to tell you the honest truth. I have for a long time been looking for the perfect answer. Who do I recommend people go to see? Who do I recommend that people can go and uh, buy watches. And I've got to be honest with you, the greatest, the greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, is David SW. David SW, David SW, David SW.com. That's right, guys. I have been looking for a contact who I can very nicely refer people too. I am not in the selling business. Customer service. I'm too old to sell watches. I'm too old. I like to recommend my viewers to a reliable source. In Australia, I've got some great sources. There's uh, Sydney Watch Exchange with Cove. Rani at Vintage Watch Co. Shani. Shani at European Watch Gallery. And in America, who is the best source for pre-owned Rolex, for all the hot models, there's only one person I would recommend, David SW. David SW, David SW. That is the premier source for pre-owned Rolex. I gotta be completely frank and honest with you. Guys, if you are looking for a hot Rolex model, there is only one place you can go to. David SW, David SW, David SW. Let's be honest, guys. There's no point schmoozing, schmoozing, schmoozing the dealers, the ADs. They're just a waste of time. Unless you're going to buy 20 pieces, you are wasting your time. What you're better off to do is pay the market premium and go to a good, good pre-owned dealer. Who do I recommend? David SW. David SW. David SW. That's correct, guys. I want to tell you this now. I 100% stand behind David SW. David SW, the greatest pre-owned dealer in the entire United States of America. That's right. The greatest pre-owned dealer for Rolex, for Patek Philippe, for Audemars Piguet, David SW. He even does things like FP Jean. David SW. David SW. David SW. That's right. If you want to buy a pre owned Rolex, a Patek Philippe, Audemars Piguet, there's only one good source I would recommend. David SW. David SW. David SW. I'm Paul Pluter, the method actor who plays Archibald Chesterfield III, and I'm proud to recommend David S.W. See you later. Thank you for watching this channel.